Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. When I'm working late at night, I'm usually not paying attention to the students that continue to play on until 2 and 3 in the morning. Usually the white kids start to go home around 2, but the folks from foreign lands hang out until 3 and sometimes 4 in the morning. Part of it may be their desire to be different. The other part is the lie they tell themselves that they have rights to people's lives that they don't have right to. They like to poke around, they like to play around, they like to sit around and they like to fuck around in people's computers and in their telephones. I can only tell you this because while I was basically waiting to go back into a restaurant where I've just played some of my cash, someone was hacking my computer already. And I'm not sure how they're doing it because my VPN is off, my Wi-Fi is off, and openly I have a pretty little simple password that should keep people out of it. But someone has unlawfully opened my computer, taken screws out of its bottom which I, without my consent, and openly they have continued to interfere with some of my best historical, religious, spiritual work that I've recorded. This morning, one of my better audio files got completely deleted between the time that I got from my space of recording to the place of where I was going to upload with the permission of a loving person who thought she would help me in that way. She's been marvelous, and her name I can't disclose because when I disclose the helper's names, they usually get pissed on by their friends or by law enforcement who just want to monitor every little part of a person's life today. Isn't that right? Isn't that why they're getting in trouble for the stupidity of their play of shooting teenagers who are not armed, or so they say? A wayward child that is out in the middle of the night needs to be taken home first. This shouldn't be a difficult thing for the monstrous men that they're usually employed by the force. A young man just walked across the street at me trying to play a Jimmy John sandwich at me. It's not that I don't appreciate the loving kindness of him thinking I might need some food, but my attitude is how do you fucking know what I eat in that shop? Second of all, I've just finished within the last two minutes a can of tuna fish. Maybe last five minutes, because I had to take it over to the trash. But my point is, if I'm finished and I'm full, I don't need you to give me something that some monster will steal a night. You see, yesterday, a loving woman with her child, who has a little bit of special needs, provided me a bunch of food, and I sorted through what I was allowed to keep by the Lord's choosing, and openly I had those packages in a bag for me. But I put myself in a park, and I took a nap, and I did other things today. But what ended up happening was my food went missing because I guess little white boys of the Catholic faith haven't learned the Ten Commandments, which I believe is still in their Bible. You see, someone who steals from another person will almost always lie and try to ruin the life of the person they've stolen from. It is the way they do things. It is the lie they tell themselves. And it is completely immoral and illegal. You don't have rights to anyone's life but your own. You are entreated into someone's life if you're kind and loving or funny or have a good regard for people. <clears throat> you are entrusted with information over the course of time and sometimes that information slips through your fingertips. Other times people gossip and ruin relationships because they just want to keep people apart that God has put and assigned togetherness. You see there's that wonderful marvelous line in a wedding that says basically let no man separate these people. The problem is men really love to separate people. They love to play their trade, they love to ply their trade, they like to do things to make themselves get laid and personally made by some woman who's not really right for them, who doesn't feel right to them, who doesn't have the rights to them, and they won't provide one thing in life for them.